Amen. Feeling mighty fine this morning. Amen. Good to see everyone in the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. Amen. I'd like to say to everyone this morning, uh, thank you for all that you did for our state meet. And I want to go ahead and say that and uh, not get it out of the way just so I didn't forget because what a blessing it was. What a great, great work was done. Would never try to call names, but you know who you are. You know what you did. And uh, it did not go unrecognized. Many, many people come up to me and say, Preacher, we just voted that your church can do it every year. And... Uh, and I was like, whew. And, uh, but it was such a blessing, such a great work done. And what I've seen is you, you see me keep, keep coming by, and I kept seeing unity, and I kept seeing everyone work together, and so much getting done, and so much done on, a, on just a great, great level. And, and I, was just, I was just standing back amazed. Um, I was working on a message about that this mor uh, uh, yesterday, and, um, and God said, keep that for tomorrow night and, and give us and let us in another way for this morning. But I would like to say, um, God is good. Amen. Amen. And if you don't know that, trust me at what I tell you, he's good this morning. Amen. And he's greatly to be praised. It's good to see everyone in the house of the Lord. Good to have some visitors with us, some first-time visitors. But great to see you. Make yourself right at home. If you're looking for a good church, uh, uh, you'll find a faithful church right here at Evergreen. You'll find out that we're uh, normal people, that we're uh, serving an extraordinary God. Amen. He's the one that's great, and, uh, but it is great to have you with us. Please make yourself at home. Uh, we're going to try to get around the word this morning. Amen. Thank God for the good singing choir. Uh, that was good, and, uh, but we want to get around his word, and I want you to, if you have your Bibles, to go ahead and turn to the book of Revelation chapter 2, and, uh, but I do, wanna, I do want, Brother Jay, what a great Sunday school lesson. I know you, it seemed like right there at the end, you felt like you didn't get it out like you wanted. You got it out good, brother, amen. It was a great, great lesson. Uh, I want us to know something, uh, not quite yet, Brother Doug. I want us to know something that uh, um, if we're trusting in anything besides Jesus Christ to go to heaven, uh, we'll, we'll fall short. A amen. Yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, not a way. I'm the truth, not a truth, and the life. Amen. There's no other life besides Jesus Christ. Uh, without him, we will surely be dead and on our way to hell this morning, but it's only by the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. And it wasn't be the, the, the blood of bulls and goats or even the blood of a good man would not work. It had to be a perfect man, and that was only Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't ever want to preach anything on salvation besides that, Brother Jay. I'm glad you, you, keep, you keep pointing that out. Amen. It's a reminder, if we're going to say anything, talk about the cross. Amen. Talk about the cross and what Jesus did upon it. He died for our sins. And what that means is you, you're a sinner and you can have your sins forgiven if you put your trust and your faith in Christ alone. Amen. Nothing else, nothing that a, a, a denomination would say, nothing that a preacher would say or, or, or someone would might try to teach you, but it's only by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. And, and, and I, want, I want to ask him, why don't y'all come up and, and sing that song uh, 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 about the blood of Jesus Christ. Just, just come on up this morning and sing that, then we'll get right into the word. Amen. I think the Lord will be pleased with that. Y'all come up and sing about the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, the blood of Jesus Christ. It's the only thing. That's why we're here today, amen? If you're looking for something else, I pray you don't find it. But if you're looking for the blood of Jesus Christ, I pray that you find it on the cross and you take it and allow him to apply it to your life, amen? To wash away your sins. What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. I mean, y'all sing, worship with the Lord. Worship with us this morning. Oh, the blood, crimson love, price of life's demand, shame for sin, the 
greater love, grace, how can this be, Listen. that in my sin, yes, even then he shed his blood for me. Revelation chapter 2 this morning, Revelation chapter 2, and I want to begin reading right there in verse number 8. Amen. Revelation chapter 2, verse number 8. Verse number 8 says, And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna write these things which saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works and thy tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which... Thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, and ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. He that hath an ear, let him hear what saith, what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. May God add his blessing to the reading of his word. Father, we love you and we thank you, Lord, uh, that you're with us. We thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ, God. And we thank you, Lord, that you've allowed us all to come together uh, today in this way. And I know that you put us in this place for a reason. And God, we've come to worship you and to hear from heaven. And God, we pray that you'll do that. And we pray most of all, if there's one that's lost or, or maybe one that's got cold or backslid on you, God, I, I pray that you'll speak to that heart most of all. And we'll thank you for what you do in Jesus' name. And all of God's people to say, Amen. 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 Uh, the church here, uh, Jesus is writing, we know, to the seven churches. And here he's writing to the church at Smyrna. Now, Smyrna was a city that was thriving, but it was under the Roman rule. And uh, Christianity in the, at this time was just simply not permitted it, it, they were uh, the church was having great persecution uh, economically they were cut off from a lot of things and they were even killing the members of the church uh, amen but God said here that I see what's going on and I'm telling you to be faithful and and, and this morning I want to preach this thought the facts of a faithful 
church. Amen. Hey, let's go ahead and establish it. Maybe somebody don't realize or, 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 or kind of can't differentiate in between the two, but a, a church is not the building. Amen. I know we call this the church, but the church is us that's sitting on the inside of it. Amen. So he was writing to this group of congregation of this assembly, and he was writing to those people, and he said, let me tell you, I know what's going on. Be faithful unto death. Amen. And I want to talk about, and these four verses can show us the facts of a faithful church, what will happen to a church that is faithful. Uh, uh, and, and I want to go ahead and just get the, get, it, get the sermon rolling, Brother Hunter. And, and I want us to talk about, number one, the facts. Amen. The facts that we read in four verses. And, and I know everybody wants a feel-good sermon this morning, but I promise you, if you're trusting in the Lord and you're being faithful to God, no matter what the facts is, you'll be encouraged. Amen in this word this morning. He says uh, the facts of a faithful church. Let's look at the facts now. He says, I see your works. Amen. Works is not a bad word. Amen. Brother Jay was teaching it. If you're trusting in works to go to heaven, uh, it's wrong. Amen. You won't get there by works. But if you're saved this morning, you ought to want to work. Amen. Uh, not to be saved, but because you are saved. And he says, I know your works is what he said. I see your deeds. Let's put it like that. I see your deeds. He says, and I see your tribulation. I see your difficulties, amen. I see that what you're going through trying to work for God. I see you're, you're being faced, and I see your poverty, amen. I see your destitution. I see that you don't have a whole lot, but I can see your works, and I see your tribulation, and I see your poverty. They were, they were, they were poor, but he said, yet you're rich. They were poor and rich. They were money poor, but they were rich in faith. Amen. Y'all remember Wednesday night. Amen. They were rich in their faith. And God says, I see what's going on. Amen. Here's what it says. I, I see you, uh, and I see what's going on. And the facts were, you're going through a lot. And it says on down in verse 9, And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. And I, I can't help it. I, I've got to be faithful to what the Bible says. Amen. And the facts is, in a faithful church, amen, the facts is in a faithful church. If I could ever say Evergreen's been faithful, I can say it this week, amen, with a pure heart, amen. But the facts in a faithful church is what we read right here in this, in this verse is not only is there some that's, uh, that's faithful, but we see that I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and they are not, amen. Hey, the facts of a faithful church, the facts is there's going to be some fakes in it. I know this won't go over too good this morning, amen. First, maybe I should have made this the second point, but God made it the first point, amen. He says, I see what's going on, and the facts is there's going to be some fakes in a faithful church, amen. Hey, there's going to be fakes. See, they're inside the church, but they're not really of the church. Hey, it, 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 yeah, thank you, thank you, amen. There's some fakes that's going to be in a faithful church. Uh, they were Jewish born is what they were, but they were not Jewish reborn. Amen, because, because in, in Jesus' day, in Jesus' day, the, the Jews were the ones that was against Jesus. But when you get later on into the Bible, Jews is referred to the children of God. Amen. Hey, and he says they're saying they're Jews, and they may be by their first birth, but not their second birth. They're not really real, amen. Hey, hey, there's a lot of people in the church and they think because they do something or they do not do something that they're part of the church, but they're not. And let me tell you something. Jesus didn't say it's just they were fake. He said, but they're of the synagogue of Satan. Uh, can I remind us, I know this ain't going good because I'm, I'm just going to have to stay right here. Hey, look here, if you're not in the church of God, amen, if you're not born again, then you're of Satan. Hey, hey, hey look, somebody says, well, I try to be a good person. Uh, there's none good, no, not one, amen. He's the only one good. If you're not of God, you're of the devil. No middle ground, no, well, I'm standing on a fence post trying to just decide, amen. Hey, God says, how long will you, uh, uh, will you be so indecisive? Hey, Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Amen. How long will you halt between two opinions? He says, you're in, you're in or you're not? And this morning, I know we have visitors here, and I pray you don't take me wrong this morning, but I know in a great host of this, they some real faithful ones, but they some that's probably fake. 
I don't have nobody's name on my mind. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not seeing your face. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. No, because I only look on the outside, and I'm looking around, and everybody's looking pretty good this morning. Amen. I mean, dressed up. Amen. God, hey, nice shirt, Brother Darrell. Everybody's looking good. I can't see the heart, but God can see right into the heart. And God says, I'm looking down. And the facts of a faithful church is that there's going to be fakes in it. There's going to be fakes in it. Uh, am I in the Bible? Bible readers, help me out now. If, I, if I'm staying with the Bible, the Bible says, Brother Jay, that there's wheat and there's tares. Uh, he said, you know what he said? Let them just grow together. Uh, sometimes I, you find out someone's got to be fake. And the first thing I want to do is, Lord, get them saved. Or get them out to church, amen. God said, don't bother with them, amen. He said, I'm going to separate one day. Always remember that if you're fake this morning, he's going to separate the, the wheat and the tares. Uh, you know what fake people will do? They'll stay with you. They'll stay with you as long as you don't try to shine too bright. As long as you don't preach no message about there's fakes in the church. huh? Hey, I'll hang around with you. Preacher, we was praying about coming to this church and the first thing you're going to preach on is fakes. I don't know if I want to be here or not. Amen. I come looking for a good encouraging. So I want to encourage us. Amen. I'm going to get to the encouraging part, but we've got to realize that the facts of a faithful church is that there's fakes in it. Huh? Hey. They just they'll be with you if you don't shine too bright, as long as you don't stand against everything. Huh? Huh? Don't preach on that sin. Don't preach on my sin is what they're saying. Amen. Hey, what about a little bit of grace for everyone? Amen. I'm all about grace. If you want to hear grace sermons, come on Wednesday night. But on a Sunday morning, the facts of a faithful church is that there's fakes in it. A amen. Look at what also is true. Look at what's true now. Hey, not only is there fakes in it, but the facts is that there's, look at verse 10. Look in your Bibles. He says, fear none of those things. Hey, there's fear in it. The facts of a faithful church is that there's fear. Huh, why is there fear? There's fear in it. He says, you know, Jesus would say a lot of times in the Bible, fear not. But right now he says, fear none. See, fear not. He would say that, Brother Ron, when he was showing up to help. When he showed up on this, when he came on the scene, when he appeared in the form of an angel, when he appeared in the form, he would say, fear not. But now, Brother Danny, he's saying, fear none. One, what, what's the difference, preacher? Are you going to tell us? I'm going to tell us this morning what the difference is. Fear none. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Amen. Hey, here's what he's trying to say. He's trying to say, sometimes I'm going to come on the scene and I'm going to have to say fear not because I'm God. Amen. Hey, but sometimes he's going to say fear none because he's not going to come. Oh, uh, he says, he says, fear none of these things because you're going to suffer. Hey, the facts of a faithful church is there's fear in it, but we don't have to fear, even though we're going to suffer sometimes for being faithful to God. You're not going to be the most popular person if you're living for Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, everybody ain't going to like you if you're standing up for what's right. Hey, everybody's not, you're not going to be uh, the top of the totem pole, if you will. Hey, because there's going to be, there's going to be those who will try to put fear in you. And fear is only acceptable when it's towards God. See, anytime we fear, if we believe in God, Brother Darrell, Anytime we fear something else, now listen, we put that in the place of God. See, whatever you're fearing becomes your God. See, 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 we need to quit telling God how big our problems is and tell our problems how big our God is. Huh? I don't be fear. Hey, I got this. Well, you, you don't know what I've been through. It don't, it don't matter. Amen. God is God. He, he, he's a great big God. He's able to do anything. Hey, even if he don't, uh, uh, look, he's still God. Amen. The Bible says, fear not man who can kill just the body, but fear God who can kill the body and the soul in hell. Huh? Hey, when the job fires you, he's still God. When your spouse leaves you, he's still God. 
Huh? When the doctor comes in and says, sit down, I got a bad report, he's still God. Amen. Hey, in this life we're going to have, he's still God. No matter what we have to go through, fear, don't let God say, he's not giving us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of sound mind. He's still God. And that leads me into point number two. Hey, in, in the facts of a faithful church, the facts is there's, there, there's fakes and there's fear in it. But there also is the faithful in it. Amen. There's the faithful. Look at what it says. Verse 10. Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that you may be tried and you shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death. Amen. I'm glad in a faithful church, the facts of it is there's facts and there's also the faithful in it. Amen. There's the faithful in it. Here's what it says. He says, be faithful unto death. And I, what I want us to know someday is that this one goes deep now. Hey, look, there, there's a thing about this thing called faithful, amen. And I want us to know something. Have you been faithful? Look in your own life. I don't want to say, Brother Cody, I don't want to pull out you. Hey, but I want to say, you ask yourself this morning, have I been faithful? Hey, can I tell you something about being faithful, amen? You, you, you can't never say I've been faithful unless you've been tested by the fire. Uh, here, hey, hey, the faithful, my, my, my point, uh, letter A is, uh, have you faced the fire? A amen. Have you faced the fire? Ha have you really been through it? Some people says, well, you don't know what I've been through. Have you ever faced the fire like Hannah and I, Azariah and Michelle? I use them names because that's what God give them, amen. Uh, you might have heard of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, amen. Hey, they faced the fire. And they said, oh, king, we're not careful to answer thee, but we will not bow is what they would, hey, this is my words, that's what they would say. He said, because our God is able to deliver. But in ver, uh, Daniel chapter 3, verse 18, he would say, but if not, huh? Hey, hey, I'm talking about have you ever faced a fire and knowing that you might be thrown into that fire and, and God's able to deliver now, amen? We serve a delivering God. Hey, but what if he don't? What if he don't to do it? Amen. What if God says no, not right now? Hey, look here. Let me ask you something. Have we been faithful? He says here, he says, some of you be cast into prison. Have we been faithful even when our freedom was taken? Would we be faithful if our freedom was taken? Hey, hey, would we be faithful when God's not moved? God's not spoke? God's not healed? God's not fixed? God's not come on the scene? Would we be found faithful? Would we be found faithful? Hey, the, he said be faithful unto death. Faithfulness can never be proved in good times. Thank you. Faithfulness can never be proved in good times. Faith, that ain't quotable, I know. Okay, okay, let's go on. Hey, look, faithfulness right here in verse 10, he says, he said, be faithful unto death. Amen. He, no matter what you're going through, if you're facing the fire, be faithful. And here's a quote. I'll give you a quotable one. It's a theological irony, faithfulness is. Huh? Here's what it is. Faithfulness is a good quality in a bad reality. You can quote that one, Brother Chris. Faithfulness is a good quality in a bad reality. A amen, amen. Hey, look, Job said these words. Here's where we need to get to. This is where you can find out if you're faithful. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Amen. Sometimes God will withhold our deliverance to expose our faithfulness. I know Evergreen's not the only church that had to go through the time of COVID. Huh? Huh? I don't want, Brother Doug, I, I know you could say it, it, it sounds good, but when the preacher says it, it sounds judgmental. Hey, hey, but I will say it anyway. Hey, hey, COVID exposed who some people really were. I don't mean I don't love them. I don't mean I don't want them back in church. It don't mean that, but it exposed who they really were. If they're watching, if they want to watch, I love you. Hey, but if you were real, you'd be assembled together. You'd be looking for a place of worship. You wouldn't be at the house and at Walmart and at the job and on vacations. You'd be serving God somewhere. Yes. Faithfulness is not, is not proven during good times. It's a good quality in a bad reality. He said, be thou faithful in the debt to death. Hey, I see 
the facts of a faithful church. The facts is there's fakes and there's fear, but there's, face, there's faithful who will face the fire and they will finish well. <clears throat> I, 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 know, I know everybody's going through different things, facing different, and I know that, and I try to be, I try to be really, really compassionate because Jesus was. But he said, be faithful unto death. There's not a time in your spiritual walk that you can stop serving God and think you're still being faithful. You do everything. Hey, Brother Jay said it good this morning. He says uh, they forgot the bread. Amen. Hey, there's people that since last Sunday morning have not picked up a Bible, has not said a prayer. They went and sat down. Where she at, Sister Ramona? Hey, they went and sat down in front of a public, and everybody watched him, and they didn't even think about saying the blessing. And they want to say they love God and they're faithful. I, I'm tell, what I'm trying to say, the Bible says, Jesus says, hey, you're going to go through things if you're going to be a faithful church. And the fact is that fear is going to come in. You're going to have to face the fire. But I want you to finish well. Amen. Amen. Finish well. Don't talk about what we used to do. Amen. Talk about what we get ready to do next week. Amen. Hey, talk about what we're going to do. Next. Don't talk about what you used to do in 1995, my Lord. Well, back in 2005, I was a Sunday school superintendent. I taught Sunday school. I was on the deacon board. I done this and I done that. Hey, I taught children's church. I was the secretary. I was this, I was that. Hey, what you doing right now? The facts of a faithful church is that they're going to be faithful unto death. Huh? Huh? I hope God's helping us this morning. We can see the facts. We can finish well. Huh? It's not what we used to do. Paul says this, Paul says, I have fought a good fight. And then I went and sat on the sidelines and took it easy until I died. But wrong. That ain't what he said, Brother Doug. I fought a good fight, now I'm going to let Brother Hunter do it. I fought a good fight, I'm older now, I can't do nothing. He said, I fought a good fight and I finished my course. I finished what God had for me. Hey, a faithful person will face the fire and they'll finish well. They'll finish well according to what we're reading in the Bible now. Hey, the facts of a faithful church, we see the facts is there's fakes and there's fear and we see the faithful, they'll face the fire and they'll finish well. And we'll see in verse 10, look at what it says at the end of it there. Huh? He says you'll have tribulation 10 days, amen. God can put a time on your suffering. Don't you worry about it, suffering. Hey, look, it shall come to pass, amen. Hey, all anything you go through will stop down here. God promises that. Here's what he says. He says, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of of life. Amen. We can see here, we can see here the facts is, and that there's a faithful in here, and we can also see the facts of a faithful church, the finality of it. Amen. We can see what's going to happen in the end. Amen. Why do we serve God? Because we already read the back of the book. Amen. We know what's going to happen in the end. Why do we want to go through things and why do we account it joy when we fall into divers temptations? Uh, because we know in the end, amen, the facts is, amen, God's going to bring us out of this place. That's the finality of a faithful church. Amen. God's going to take us out of here. Amen. It's going to be good. You do, do you understand what I'm saying? Be faithful unto death. Huh? Does everybody understand that? Huh? Hey, be faithful unto death. Do you understand? It's just death. Listen, it's just death. If you're scared of dying, I would check up my soul. I mean that. I mean that. I don't mean to be hard and mean. It's just death. It's, it's just death. What what'd you say we ought to preach Christ and what? Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Christ and what? Him crucified. You talking about preach death? It's just death. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy... Hey, where is it at? It's just death. 
if we're born again, blood washed believers, amen, been saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, say it any way you want to say it, amen. Hey, but we, 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 we have got our sins under the blood of Jesus Christ wrong. It's just dead. Huh? Hey, you scared of dying? It's just death. He says, be faithful unto death. It's just death. Why am I saying that? Because we're serving Jesus Christ. And he said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though we were dead, yet shall he live. Amen. Hey, this is fina the finality of this thing is we can die a death here, but God's going to raise us back up. Amen. Hey, do you not believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ? I believe that he came. Amen. He was born of a virgin. He lived a sinless life. He done many signs and miracles and wonders. Hey, he died on the cross, was buried in a borrowed tomb, but that ain't it. Amen. On day three, he got up again. And we worried about death. Hey, we are serving not, not, he didn't say I bring resurrection. Uh, I could cause resurrection. He said I am the resurrection. Oh, yeah. uh, you don't believe me? Pull back up where we started reading. Pull up back verse number eight. Look at what it says. Huh? To the angel of the church of Cerner write, these things saith. The first and the last. I'm talking about the finality of it. Who'd he say? He said, which was dead. <laughs> Who's scared of death? <laughs> and is alive. He said, be faithful to death. Huh. I done got power over it. Hey, I've got power to raise you back up again. What? It's just death? Hey. He's going to raise us back up. Let me tell you what he's going to do. He was dead. And he's the first and the last. He's the first of the resurrection. And he'll make sure he gets the last one, Brother Jay. What's my A, B, and C's of the finale? When we get over there, there'll be no fakes. There'll be no fear. We'll all know we finished well. Amen. Hey, look, and here's what it says. Look on down in verse 8. Verse 8, look, uh, verse 11, I'm sorry. Look at verse 11. He that hath the ear, let him hear uh, what saith the Spirit, saith unto the churches, he that overcometh shall be not hurt of the second death. Amen. Hey, what is death? Amen. That first death, hey, we should not fear it. Amen. And we ain't got to never worry about the second death. Amen. If you don't know what a second death is, it's the lake of fire. Amen. What am I trying to say? When God resurrects us, when we get over there, there'll be no fakes. Hey, hey, th 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 there'll be no fear. Hey, there'll be no, we'll all finish well, and we'll never face the fire. Yeah. Woo! Amen. That don't make everybody, hey, hey, if you ain't encouraged yet, I don't know what else to say, amen. Hey, we're going to resurrect one day, and the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, and the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ, woo, shall rise, amen. Hey, then us which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in there. Listen, and so shall we ever. There's the finality. Uh, there's the finale. Brother, brother Harold, so shall we ever be with the Lord. There'll be no more, there'll no be no hurting, amen. No more eye problems, no more foot problems, no more anything. It'll be no more. That's a place of no more. He says, I looked in a new heaven and new earth. There was no more pain, no more sorrow, no more crying, and neither death. For the former things was passed away, amen. He said he was God and he's going to make all things new one day. And that's facts of a faithful church. Hey, y'all come get us a song, Brother Hunter, whatever's laid on your heart, and let's all stand all over the house of the Lord this morning. Huh? Hey, are you inside the church this morning? I'm not talking about in this building. Remember, are you part of God's church? If you're not, you can come and get your sins under the blood of Jesus Christ and become part of God's church. Hey, and that's facts. We're going to go through things. I'll tell you, if we didn't ever face anything, Brother Dow, I was wondering if we'd be doing anything. The reason Peter 
Where's Jay at? The reason Peter had to go, the reason Peter had so many problems, Peter was the one always doing something. Huh? Too so much is given, much is required. The man that's making the most mistakes is probably doing the most. Are you part of the church this morning? If you're not, you can come. Because these are facts of a faithful church. If you're lost this morning, come on. Come on and give your life unto Jesus Christ. Do you know a time in your life that you did that and your sins was clean and, you, and your lifestyle changed? If you don't know that time this morning, you can get it today. You can be saved right now this morning and become, hey, you can become faithful. just been pretending a little bit you want to be saved but you're still holding on to things in, in this world you're still holding on to a lifestyle that you like but you're but you want to be saved hey no one would judge you if you said I'm tired of being fake and this morning I want to get real with God if you would come down this morning and do that no one in this place that loves God would judge you and they would not be upset at you they wouldn't talk about you they'd pray with you this morning if you need to be saved Come and pray about anything this morning. The altars are open. Amen. We don't close. There's no closed signs. We don't close these altars down. At any time you need prayer, why don't you come and pray? Right now. No more burdens to bear. No more sickness nor pain. No more party. We got a need this morning. Right now's the time. that's going to be I'm, the finality amen it's going to end well for us who trusted in Jesus Christ amen good to see everyone in the house of the Lord so many visitors we love you please come back when you will a amen and uh, 
If you're looking for a church, we sure are looking for some more families. Amen. I will go ahead and say that. I try not to persuade too much. I used to when I when I first became a preacher. I wanted everybody right here at Evergreen. Amen. But I but 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 I want you to be led by the Spirit. But if God's leading you here and you feel like He is, Amen. We will sure be glad to have you. Amen. Need some more workers in the field. Amen. Amen. Any announcements this morning? Choir practice right after church tonight. Team, see Brother Danny. Friday night is their meeting. Brother Joey. Amen. March 10th. See Sister E. Ladies Auxiliary, Tuesday the 7th. Amen. We're going to have a good meeting, I understand. Amen. Amen. Men's and ladies meeting on the 7th. Amen. Your tithing statements is out there. Look for your name. All right. Anything else this morning? 